Good morning, everyone, and thanks for coming out. Uh, as you see, we have a, a, a group of individuals uh, that are here kind of to tout some, some cutting edge work that we have. It's a little bit of research based, uh, put into practice, and uh, it, it has to do with our partnership with Texas A&M Universities here, in this case, here at Alvarez. If you think about it, we talk about the world being flat, you think, well, A&M and, and, uh, and, and, and Alvarez Elementary here in McAllen, well, what is that? Well, we have Olga uh, Gabriel that kind of puts all these, they're here in McAllen, and the kind of looking at opportunities for us to enhance the research put into practice really so that students uh, students can benefit from from things that were that were that were taking place in research in practice and then let's see how it really works and what it's doing for children this kind of uh, partnership our children are now part of the solution that may go throughout the whole country and they say well, where did all that come from or where did all that start we're real proud of our students to, to be doing this and our teachers and staff it's fun to have these kind of partnerships and we know in the end are wanting students to have a better school day or a better learning environment or a better opportunity to learn. Uh, as you all know, childhood obesity is a significant issue not just for the United States but especially in the Valley here and one of the problems we had was you know how do we address this growing problem? We look at nutrition, we look at physical activity and things like uh, uh, outdoor activities and, and walking back and forth to school and of course organized sports and PE and recreational things. The, the challenge with childhood obesity is that, that it's reached such a level that we've never seen this before in human history. We need a lot of arrows in the quiver to attack this properly. So one of the ways we can do that is we can change the classroom. We can make it more dynamic. We can give the children the ability to be more physically active during the course of their instructional time. Now, I have to tell you, we went into it selfishly for the health reasons. Uh, we were very excited to find the teachers coming back to us after the first semester and saying, you know, the children are, are paying attention better. They seem to be more focused. And of course, as researchers, we got excited about that because we knew that if academics could have something that would also enhance the children's ability to learn, to stay on task, to stay focused, to stay engaged, then we could have a health program or a process or whatever it happened to be, in this case, a dynamic classroom, that they would also embrace that. So it's been a really big uh, uh, challenge for us to get into the area of measuring the academic engagement, which now we're starting to see uh, five to seven extra minutes per hour. And I know that doesn't seem like a lot of time, but when you multiply that over the course of a day, over the course of a week, over the course of a semester, that's a lot of extra instructional time where a child is focused either on the teacher or their work. And so that improvement in the academic piece is what we're really excited about now. We've documented all of the uh, calorie expenditure benefits. So a child who is, is physically active throughout the day at a more dynamic classroom, they'll burn anywhere from 15 to up to 30% more calories per hour than they would if they were just seated in a traditional sedentary seated classroom. Uh, so that's a great benefit to their health. Uh, seeing the teachers able to do what they call classroom management, where they can kind of keep the children corralled, if you will, and keep them on task, which is very difficult if you can imagine having 20 children uh, focused on the same task at the same time. That's, that's a tall order. Um, so if there's anything you can do that can help that teacher to be able to keep those children engaged on the work at hand, uh, much more productive, much more positive results. So we're, we're very excited about that piece and excited to see that being tested here uh, in McAllen. So. We really do believe that we need to prepare our students for the 21st century. We are strong believers of communication, collaboration, anything that is going to improve uh, the academics. And of course, when we got the opportunity to pilot a, a new uh, idea, the innovation right away is inviting us to let's see how this works because until you gather data and you really have the opportunity to see, is this really making a difference? And I was excited to uh, engage in this pilot program. I think our, our, our students are very fortunate to be able to experience such a, a situation like this because again, I am like Dr. Uh, Benden said that uh, we do need to focus on uh, reducing our, our obesity in our, in our community, in our world, and what a fine opportunity to combine academics and improve health. So for that, I was very excited, and I did have the opportunity to observe the students. And again, my own observation was that I also saw them more focused, more engaged in, in the academic process, and, and again, the interaction with the, with the teacher. 
we're in an environment where we're always looking for minutes of how we can get our kids physically active. It's tough during the school day. So when, when I started to do some research, I, I went into a different area. I already knew that this was going to be good for the, for the physical component, and I knew it was going to also help out with, like you said, classroom management and, and, hope, and academics. I continue to think that McAllen has always been a leader and an innovator in education. I know that the presentation that we attended was very well received. As a former classroom teacher and as a former principal, I asked a lot of questions to the, to the presenters and my questions were answered very clearly. And I truly believe that we again are going to be the leader and the innovator in this whole area to continue to give our students the best opportunity. Boys and girls, what is the purpose of our assignment? Why are we doing this? To persuade the students to come and join our class. Why are we doing this? What are we trying to conserve? What are we trying to persuade you to do? Um, save the endangered animals. To save the endangered animals. Do this. What are you trying to persuade here? Look at all these visitors we have here. What are you trying? What are we trying to get them to see? What do you like? What do you have that nobody else has? The desk. A desk. You're standing there, a desk. So are we trying to persuade them that they're really good? Yes. Well, tell them. Tell them why you like them. That's why they're here.